Is it time to talk about the secondary market? Do you know what kind of cream this is? I don't know. I don't know if I want to talk about that. What do you think? Should we do it? Should we talk about the secondary market? Kind of crazy right now. Welcome back, folks. Hope you're having a great week. I've been hearing a lot of chatter lately. There's been a little bit of news abuzz in the world of O-Gauge train collecting, and that is hype around the secondary market. I would argue to say that right now, there is more excitement in the hobby than there's been in recent years. And it's a good thing, but it's having some adverse effects and driving some prices of a few particular items through the roof. Show me the money! That's my kids' play money. I better pick that up before they find out. See? Totally fake. We are going to break down the top five most hyped O-Gauge train engines that we're seeing on the secondary market. This should be interesting. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Before we jump into the trains, we got to break down the data. Where is this information coming from? I've been doing a lot of research on eBay and other secondary market resellers. I've also been getting messages from forum members, Discord, email, text messages, and just chatting with my local shops. And it's pretty clear what the top five most hyped train engines are. And ironically enough, all five of them are from the last couple of years. You know, a lot of times when we talk about highly collectible engines, we're going back into the vintage eras of the pre and post-war times of Line L. We're looking at engines like the 700E or the 400E Blue Comet, or some of these really iconic engines that fetch a big price, and they still do. But this video is all about these five modern engines that have been growing and exploding in popularity. I can't wait to break them down and get your thoughts on what you think about what's happening in the market today. One of the most misunderstood parts about collecting O-Gauge trains is how to get new products. Even for myself, I didn't catch on to how to get these things until just a few years ago. So if you're looking for new O-Gauge products, I would recommend following the Lionel website or the MTH website or any of the manufacturers because most of these items, especially these scale items, are made in low quantities and they're announced once or twice a year. So you want to make sure that you get in on the pre-order process and lock in your reservation because once they sell out, they sell out. And then we're at the mercy of the market, which could shift up or down. Sometimes you can get train engines for great prices in the secondary market. We've seen that here. But these trains, for whatever reason, have been driving up bidders and generating lots of excitement, which are generating big prices. It's like a toy train craze. Let's count down these five engines. Starting off at number five is an engine that was cataloged in 2020 in the volume one edition of Lionel's product launch. And that is the Vision Line GS series. The engine retailed at $1,999. And if you look on the secondary market, most copies of the engine now are fetching anywhere from $2,300 and up. So we're already getting positive equity for a train engine that's only two years old which is incredible. When you consider that most things depreciate, the collectability of these particular models are only increasing. And they are incredible models when you think about everything that Lionel put into them. Cylinder steam, whistle steam, dynamo steam on some of them. And it was one of the first releases of Lionel's new crew talk. These are some incredible models, and I'm not surprised to see where they're going. But we'll have to keep an eye on these as they continue to grow in popularity. I know I wish I had picked up the Western Pacific version of this, which I don't have, but what a beautiful model that was. There's been a recent listing of one of the boxed sets, which includes the engine and some freight cars and a caboose. And that box set is going for $3,900 on eBay. There's some incredible equity in that set, is all I can say. What do you think?
Number four, the Lionel Vision Line Niagara. A lot of Vision Line. I guess we're going to see a lot of the Vision Line here. For those of you who don't know what the Vision Line is, Vision Line is considered to be the top of the line products from Lionel. They are made in small batches and they tend to produce them with features that engines did not previously have. They also come in a really cool black box. Lionel cataloged the Vision Line Niagara and their 2018 catalog at an MSRP or retail price of $1,899. Not a cheap engine by any stretch. The Vision Line Niagara is selling on the secondary market for over $2,500. $2,500. And that's an average sell price. I've seen some of these listed for over $3,000. So a lot of interest in this engine. The Niagara featured a ton of great new effects such as water scoop. It had a force coupler effect where the coupler would actually determine how much digital labor sounds the engine would produce based on the weight of the train. Pretty neat effect. And it was packed with the other Lionel features that you would expect out of a scale model. If you've had a chance to see the Niagara, it is a striking locomotive. Every detail Lionel put into this was just top shelf, which is likely the cause of the excitement and all of the hype around this particular model. Working our way into the top three. Are you ready? Can you believe this? Can you believe the excitement so far? It's wild, like O-gauge craze. Number three was a bit of a toss up, but some recent events have changed the order of things. So number three is the Lionel Vision Line Big Boy. Number three, Chris, shouldn't that be like number one? Well, hold on, because when you hear about number two and number one, you'll see why. But it is no doubt that the Lionel Vision Line Big Boy has become an incredibly sought after engine on the secondary market. I think a lot of this has been driven by a couple of factors. Big Boy tends to be one of the most popular models when it comes to model railroading, no matter what scale it is. N scale, HO scale, O scale, bigger scales, smaller scales. Big Boy is such an iconic engine. And of course, with the recent excursion service, and the return to the rails, thank you to the Union Pacific Railroad and their restoration team, Big Boy made a big splash last year and brought in tons of new fans to see this awesome machine. So again, when I think about the popularity of this model, it's no surprise that Big Boy would be in the top five of the most sought after train engines. This model was a huge deal for Lionel when it was released. It featured a number of new effects multiple smoke units, multiple speakers. It is a monster in every single way. Big Boy's great. I don't know what it is. You're just so loved, Big Boy. The Vision Line Big Boy recently fetched $4,000 at auction. You can see it right here. Incredible. For an engine that retailed at $2,700, the engine sold for $1,300 more than it was worth when it was brand new. Not happening. No budget left. Certainly an engine that a lot of people are trying to get for their own collection. But the engine is so scarce, it's hard to find a listing at all. So when it does come up, it goes fast. Number two, here we go. Recent events have pushed this engine into the number two slot. And if you've been following the news, you probably are aware of which engine this is. Drum roll, please. It is the Lionel Vision Line 49er Challenger. Yes, the hot dog train, the hot dog train. I remember when this engine was announced. I was on the Lionel website and I was just browsing through their latest offerings. And I saw this engine and I thought, what a cool looking train. 
I know it's not a prototypical paint scheme. It's one of Lionel's famous fantasy schemes, but wow, when you see the engine on the layout, it pops right off. We've run this train in some recent videos, so I know you've seen just how loud of an engine it is. But now if we look at the secondary market, the hot dog is getting a lot of hype. The 49er Challenger carried a retail price of just under $2,000, and a recent eBay auction saw the engine sell for $5,200. Yes, over $5,000. One of Lionel's fantasy schemes making its way on the hype train. The time has come for number one. Can you guess what it is? Are you listening? Are you listening carefully? You know what this one is. The famous Lionel Legacy scale version of the Polar Express. This engine has been leading the hype train since its release in 2017. And this is the second release of the scale Polar Express. The first one was done a couple years prior, and Lionel has yet to do it again. But I will tell you that it would be a pretty smart engine to reproduce. The average selling price for the Polar Express is around $2,500. You know what kind of train this is? An expensive one. So that's $1,000 over what the engine was worth new. And we are now in the year 2022. Quite a few years have passed since this engine was released. And there's been listings, especially around the holidays, where we have seen much higher prices for the Polar Express. But this model has become such a highly sought after train. It's a train engine that I think holds a special place for a lot of collectors because of the book and the film and the fact that it can be enjoyed by hobbyists of all ages. It's a whimsical train and the scale version is just a beautiful model. So there you have it, the top five most hyped modern trains of what is today? August, no, September, it's Labor Day, ha <laughs> ha! As of September 2022, these are the top five most hyped O-Gage train engines. It's crazy. An exciting time, a bit of a crazy time, certainly interesting nonetheless. So what did you think of the top five? What did I miss? Any train engines you've seen? And what do you think? about where these prices are going. Leave me a comment. I'm sure there's a lot of great thoughts around this particular topic. As always, a huge thank you to all of my subscribers and everyone who's been supporting this channel. My name is Chris, and this is RBP Trains. We'll see you next time.